I got a brand new piece of equipment to add to my outdoor kitchen. Now, the Blazing Bull Infrared Cooker, what's really cool about this, it gets up to 1,500 degrees. Yes, 1,500 degrees. And what it's going to do is sear that meat, chicken, fish, quail, duck. I'm going to put it to the test. I've got a few different things, starting with uh, beef tenderloin. All right, so you grab this little unit here and slide that. I've got it turned on. The turning on part is easy. You can tell it's hot. I don't know if the marinade is a good idea or a bad idea. We're going to find out. Once that's ready to go, slide that in. Then you want to raise it up so you're closer to the heat source to get a good sear on the outside. And while that's cooking, I'm going to put some butter in here in this bottom drip tray, a little rosemary, and some garlic. And that's going to go on top of the steak when I'm done. It smells really good, but I want to give it a flip because I want it to be seared on both sides. You know, I think we're just looking at maybe another two to three minutes. I can also smell the rosemary, and I'm wondering what would happen if I put the rosemary right next to that, uh, to the meat, if the rosemary will smoke and add a little bit more flavor to the meat. Maybe I'll try it with some duck. I like mine a little on the rarer side, so we'll see how I did here. That one's going to be a little more cooked, I can tell, because it's smaller. What I really like, first off, is I like it to be seared on the outside. Now, you've probably heard that searing meat on the outside seals in the juices. I'm not too sure about that, but seared meat tastes infinitely better than meat that's not seared. I guarantee you that. Let's take a look inside. All right, that's a perfect medium rare. Medium rare, rarish in the center, got a little color on the outside. That's because it puts out so much heat and it sears it so quickly. Let's see what we got here. Now let me check this other little guy and see what it looks like. Still good, still medium rare. Um, it took maybe maybe five or six minutes for this whole thing to happen so let me plate this up blazing bowl style now let me get my my little sauce that i made down below put that right over the top first test of the blazing bowl using a beef tenderloin it's a winner